It's Redbeard, the elf pirate. Yo ho ho! Land ahoy! Um, should the ship be leaning like that? Maybe it's the weight of all that treasure. Sea sinking! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <laughs> Curses! Me ship and me treasure gone down to the bottom of the sea. How sad. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a perfect day to test the submarine with no boats on the lake. But what about Mr. Redbeard's treasure? Yes, me treasure. How will I get it back? If only we had some way of sailing underwater to look for it. Ah, if only. Anyway, back to my submarine. There's the a... submarine! We can use the submarine! Clever Ben! Hang on! The elf submarine is a toy! It's not for going on adventures. Oh, so it can't go underwater? Yes, it can. It'll probably sink like a stone. No, it will not. Good. That's that sorted. Captain Redbeard, our submarine is at your service. Thank you, Your Majesty. But... But I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because we're elves. And elves don't do magic. Yes, we know. Ah, he's in the night. Polly, my faithful friend, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> Mr. Elf, steer the submarine. Aye, aye. Ben and Holly, wind up the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. <laughs> what shall I do? Why, you just sit there and look pretty, my little mermaid. <laughs> Oof. Ah, oh, it's so nice to stand on something that isn't moving. Redbeard, do islands normally have fins? Not as a rule, no. What about eyes? Hardly ever. It's lovely being on dry land. Uh, I think you should come back now. No, I want to stay here. Pick me up on the way home. Nanny Plum, hurry! I'm not leaving this island. I wouldn't exactly call that an island. Why not? Because it's a fish and a whopping big one. It's Big Bad Furry. Ah, help me. Don't worry, you're in no danger as long as he doesn't think you're food. Like a fly or something. Ah! Nanny does look like a fly. Ah, I'm not a fly. I'm not a fly. Ah, get away. Don't let back. Flap your wings so much, Nanny! Fly faster, Nanny! Oh, Nanny, don't look so like a fly, will you? Ah! Ah! Nanny, catch hold of the hook! Oof! Now she looks a bit like a worm on a hook! Ooh, fish like eating worms! I'm not a worm! I'm not a worm! Whoops! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use a fishing rod! Ah! Hang on, Nanny! I'm pulling you in! Ah! And how's me sweet darling? Not having a very good day, are you? Not having a good day? Not having a good day? A fish just tried to eat me! Yep, those sailors were definitely right about the woman on board bad luck stuff. Bug! Coming towards us! Fog? That's bad. Whoa, what a whopper. <coughs> Dad, <coughs> you have <coughs> to throw him back in the water. <coughs> he can't breathe. Of course I will. But, but just take a photo so I can show my friends. There you go, Barry. Bye-bye. <coughs> Aha! We've got another fish. Oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. 
OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. <laughs> Listen, somebody's crying. <laughs> it's a girl. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes, I'm a mermaid. <gasps> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl. So, she'll probably be on her way to school. Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! Oh, no. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah! My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. <laughs> Look! It's him! It's Big Bad Bunny! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese! Start the engine! Full sail! We're not going anywhere! Yes, we are! Bad Barry is pulling us backwards! I'm on! We've got him! We've got him! I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right! We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry! He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the line! Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> He's eating Banty! Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? Oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Banty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With chips! chips. <laughs> <laughs> and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad! Is it Barry? It is! It's big, bad, Barry! He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat! Oh dear, he's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape! Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. 
Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy! What a pong! Where are we? Look! Me ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty! The boat Big Bad Barry ate last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi. And this Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry, then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and f. Ooh, fish swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa! And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello, Victor. Cedric, old bean. This is my best friend, Ben. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Don't ask him about his hobbies. What's that? Hobbies? You want to hear about my hobbies? Uh, well... Did you know I've been doing some inventing? Yes. Last year you showed us your jam trousers. Did I? What about my custard shoes? Those too. Oh, I've taken up lots of new hobbies, like woodwork. Sounds quite harmless. Here's a wooden chair I made. It looks surprisingly like an ordinary chair. Yes, but then I asked myself, why should a chair have legs and not be able to walk? Here, boy. It can walk. Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs! I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten or twenty-three? Oh, that's enough, dear. That's my wand. It's coming from up there. It's a jackdaw. And it's got my wand. Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Nanny! Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly... 
Stop, Holly! It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a tooth fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. <laughs> you! Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? <laughs> Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. <gasps> Her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Break. It's, it's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake. Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, 
Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be dis... Why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. This little elf must go here. And this pretty fairy should be at the top of the tree. Phew! That was really close. Let's deliver Lucy's presents. Ben! Holly! Lucy! You're supposed to be asleep. I'm too excited about Christmas. What are you doing here? We're delivering your Christmas presents. Whoa! Do elves and fairies get presents as well? No, but tonight we have the elf and fairy feast. There's lovely music and lanterns in the trees. That sounds nice. It's beautiful. We'd better go. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, there wasn't a little snack down there for old Santa, was there? Yes, a mint pie. Delicious. And this drink. Even better. <coughs> We can't start the elf and fairy fe- Are you coming out to play? <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Gaston's not answering. Oh, maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, he <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm. Perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Nanny Plum will know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea! Dum da dum dum da dee da 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 dum da dee da dee Nanny Plum! Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm. Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, please Nanny Plum, please. please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. This 
is Gaston's cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a lady. Holly, look! Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <sighs> they all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look, one of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly, don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. At last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, oh, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. Oh, oh Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. Now we will never... This is nice, Daddy. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? I don't know why I've never done this before. Would you like some lunch, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I am rather hungry. Me too. Telephone for Your Majesty. Someone called Nanny Plum? <coughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. <coughs> yes. Yes, of course. Right away. <coughs> Nanny says I have to get back to work. What about lunch? I know, but there is more important king work to be done. But, Daddy, you're king. That means you're in charge. Ah, Holly, everyone thinks I'm in charge, but really, I get told what to do all the time. When are we having lunch, Nanny? There's no time for lunch, Your Majesty. You have to judge a fairy fruit and vegetable competition. How do you do that, Daddy? How do I do that, Nanny? You pick the biggest. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! 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 Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or... Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Oh, 
Better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? Ho oh, ho! You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. Just to feed Betty, but now she's so big she'll never. Sheepdog, watch this. <coughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow! <coughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a, a cow. cow. <laughs> 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 she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk! Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Go away, Mole! <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello! <laughs> Hooray! Yes. Moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for, uh... Saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Winky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. 
Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone. Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. 20 poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. 40 sausages and 90 pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid... Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. Rum, rum. That's the rum. sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. A mouse. I put these ears on and this nose. Then I. Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the ones in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, uh, actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magic the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no, it's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh, so where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. I never knew we had a seat. <laughs> then he could score on his own. Hooray! This is too easy. <laughs> OK, I'll make it harder. I'll give the next legs too. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons for good measure? Ooh. Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! <laughs> ah, 
so this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have a hundred million? OK, a hundred million points to this team. Hooray! Can we have a hundred million too? Yes, a hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! Yo-ho-ho! -ho! <laughs> These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. Oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. 
that one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty catty. Meow. Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow. <laughs> Buggy wordy. Buggy wordy. Phew. Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. We're ready. <laughs> Send it in. <laughs> da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid. Let's go and join in the fun. Ho, ho, ho! Happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm. It's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality, smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? <laughs> Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf snail. <gasps> Who made these hills on my golf course? <laughs> a mole, Your Majesty. Well, get rid of it. We've been trying to chase it away all morning, Your Majesty. Don't you know how to get rid of moles, wise old elf? Er, uh, no. Then who does? Nanny Plum. She can talk to it. She speaks all animal languages. Of course. Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, Nanny Plum. You talk to animals, don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Then can you tell this mole to leave my golf course? Er. Uh, no, Your Majesty. What? I can't speak mole. It's one of the more difficult animal languages, along with aardvark. But can't you use magic to get rid of the mole? There is one magical method to get rid of moles, but unfortunately it uses a gnome. What's that? A gnome, Your Majesty, is a sort of elf with a big tummy. What? Gnomes are nothing like elves. They eat too much, talk too much, and never do any work. I don't care what you use, just get rid of that mole. OK, I'll fetch us a gnome. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams or goo. 
I'll sing my song and strum along with a fool de do de do Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will... Mrs Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. He smells awful. I'm nearly cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The Little Kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. Oh. See? The telly is always right. But now that we're here, how do we find Mrs Fotheringill? Gaston can sniff Mrs Fotheringill's shoes and find her. Brilliant, Ben. <laughs> find Mrs Fotheringill. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> I wonder where we'll find the Lost Tribe. Lost Tribe? What nonsense. Whoa, look at that. A lost tribe! Told you. They're elves and fairies, just like us. Halt! Who journeys through our land? We come from the surface of the mighty Earth. We welcome you, surface dwellers. We thank you, O oh Lord of the Underground. Nanny, why are they speaking in that funny way? That's how they speak on telly. We bid you greetings. Uh, actually, we've come to get Mrs Fotheringill. Ah, the one we call Teacher. Yes, that'll be her. Good morning, children. My name is Mrs Fotheringill. Hello, Mrs Fotheringill. Oh, hello, everybody. We're here to rescue you. And we've brought your shoes. Oh, my shoes. It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here. A bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Father Gil! Father Gil! Ah, Daisy! Poppy! Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. 
The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching! Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. And I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. <coughs> we need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> Nanny's <laughs> wings are soaking wet. She can't fly, so she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Fan, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Where are they? Oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. <laughs> Here, Froggies! This way! <laughs> this is my ring! And these are my toys! Crank! 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 Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, 
six seven eight nine ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. <laughs> yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Your wand seems to be working perfectly. Don't wait ten years before getting it serviced again. Yes, wise old elf. Sorry. Thank you for mending my wand, wise old elf. You're welcome, Princess Holly. <laughs> It's good to have you back again, Wand. I promise to take special care of you from now on. Yes, don't bash it on a rock. I won't. <laughs> <laughs>